COVID. There would be no virtual learning. But since I don't rule the world, and I am not the creator of all things, or the universe, there is COVID-19. There is virtual learning. So I decided I needed to change the way I look at what's happening. I don't know if you're like me, but I've been struggling with this whole virtual learning, being a working mom, being a wife, being a, a co-worker, colleague, being productive. And this week was full-fledged into virtual learning and work mode. So I have come up with five things that I did to help me survive. Here it is Friday after work. I made it, I survived all this well. Number one on my list, struggle with critiquing myself a lot. So I had to consciously make an effort to give myself grace and give myself compassion when things didn't work out the way I wanted them to. Or if I did something that I wasn't intending to do, if I missed something on the schedule that I was supposed to get to, if I didn't check off everything I thought I should have on my to-do list, I was able to give myself grace by positive self-talk. You know what? On that to-do list, you organized the to-do list. Check that off, sis. You did that. <laughs> I also made sure I put things on the to-do list that were actually attainable for the day, okay? So I felt really good about being able to check off at least one thing. And other people might struggle with other things that they need to give themselves grace and compassion for. But for me, I'm very critical of how productive am I during the day, okay? Grace, compassion during a time like this, because it's unpredictable and we don't know what's going on, but we're making the best of what we can do. Another thing I have a struggle with is the negative self-talk or negative thinking around things. So I purposely, said that I'm gonna write down, ask myself every day, what went right today? What one thing went okay? Either if it's at work or being a mommy or what did I do right? Did I pick up everything on my grocery list without getting a whole bunch of stuff that I need? Nope, that's never gonna happen. But I can at least say I got to the grocery store and I got everything I did need, okay? Um. So the, the, second, the second thing on my list was to ask myself what went right, okay? The third thing I did for the week to survive was to only focus on the things that I absolutely could control. I work in a setting where I have coworkers that um, have problems that I gotta help problem solve through, right? And there's some things about maybe students in their home lives and some other factors that I couldn't control, I learned to say to myself, if you can't control it, then there is no reason for you to belabor everything about it and how to get it in order because you have no control over it. Focus on what you can control. If you're trying to reach out to someone and that person is unresponsive and they haven't seen your email calls or anything else, you can't control that. Try as you might, you can't force anybody to respond to you. Leave it alone. You'll be okay, okay? Number four, I wrote down the things that I needed to uh, think about further. So like, you know sometimes you get anxiety about things you haven't solved yet. Um, what helps me is to write down the problem or whatever it is that I think needs to be solved or that I need to follow up with, then I push it to the side, go to the next uh, task for the day. I don't get caught up in, oh my goodness, I don't have the answer to this. Now I can't move on, move forward. That actually makes me more anxious. So I try to write down where I left off and then I follow up. The fifth and final thing that helped me this week, I filtered out information that I couldn't do anything with. 
Now, I know some proponents of active listening will say that's something that like hinders you from being an effective listener, but here's the thing. <laughs> I hear problems all day. I hear about stuff about people's families. I hear about things that uh, has no business being shared with me. Um, I hear about everything. And it's not to say I can control what people say. I can control what I do with the information. And instead of letting things that don't help me progress through the day stop me from progressing through the day, I filter out information. That's what I do. Here's a bonus. Sometimes I take a mental break from social media. And those are uh, <laughs> mainly the culprit that uh, information that you don't need gets into your brain and kind of like stalls you or hinders your progress of making it through the day. Uh, me, I'll speak for myself. So um, another way I filter out information is I take a mental break from social media. So those were the five things. I'll put it somewhere here where these are the five things that help me survive the first week of virtual learning and working and being mommy and being a wife yeah, I probably sucked at being a good friend this week, but you know what? Number one helps me with that. I give myself grace and compassion. I hope you guys are making it too. We're all in new territory and all of us are novice, novices, novice. I don't even know how you say the word, but you get what I mean. Uh, we're new at this. We're not experts at this. Continue to give yourself grace Continue to have compassion for yourself. Talk to yourself like you would talk to a friend you love so much and wouldn't want to hurt their feelings. Until next time, I'll see you. Thank you for watching.